Chitons are a kind of mollusk, so they're related to snails and clams and octopuses. And my research um, is actually about the evolution of all of those different kinds of animals. But these chitons are particularly interesting because we think they're very primitive. So there's fossil chitons, not here in the Falklands, but in other parts of the world. There's fossil chitons from 300 million years ago that look almost exactly the same as the ones that are alive today. One of the really special things about the chitons that live in the Falklands in particular is, so these are animals that look like a limpet. They have these solid shells that go over their back. But chitons are unique because they have nerves that are inside their shells. So they actually have these nerves that come out of their body and go through the shell and then end in thousands of little tiny pores on the outside of their shell all over their back so that they can sense what's going on around them through these nerves that are actually penetrating through the shell. And some chitons, not all of them, but four of the species that live in the Falklands actually have eyes. So they have little crystal eyes inside their shell. So the one that I was looking at through the microscope is a tiny baby of one of the species that we found yesterday. Um, and they have um, little tiny eyes. So this animal is only about one millimeter long and it already has 16 eyes. So when they grow up, they have thousands of eyes. And there's been experiments that were done on other species um, from the tropics um, that showed that in that tropical species, the chitin could actually see shapes. So they can use all of these tiny eyes in their shell together to make a kind of compound eye so they can see simple shapes. I'm interested in how the eyes are similar and different between the different species that are all, they're all co-occurring. They all live together here side by side in the Falklands, but they have different eyes. Some species have more, some species have less. And what we've just discovered literally this morning is that the way that the eyes grow. So this is an animal that's bilaterally symmetric. You can split it down the middle and the left side is the same as the right side, same as us. But they don't have the same number of eyes on the left side and the right side at least not when they're small, which is something that uh, we've never noticed before.